Focal length and zoom, aren't they basically the same thing? Nope, not really. Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Explained and in today's video I'll be explaining the difference between focal length and zoom. Now people are often confused by these two terms, especially those who are just starting out in photography. You'll often get phrases like this lens zooms very far, this lens has a lot of zoom. So let's start off with focal length. Now the simple explanation for focal length is the distance between the front element of your lens to the sensor of your camera. So the longer your focal length, the longer the reach of your lens. Basically you'll get a tighter image. So if a lens has a very long focal length, like 200 millimeters, then it's referred to as a telephoto lens. And if a lens has a very short focal length, say 10 millimeters then it's a wide angle lens because it has a very wide angle of view. Now a zoom is really just referring to a lens's ability to change its focal length like this lens right here. It can zoom from 24 millimeters to 105 millimeters. Lenses that have a fixed focal length are called prime lenses and they cannot zoom. So if you were to say something like a 600 millimeter prime lens can zoom very far, then that statement is technically incorrect because technically a 600 millimeter lens cannot zoom. The correct way to phrase it would be to say that the lens has a very far reach. Now another thing to understand is the zoom factor. Now you'll see the zoom factor being used very often, particularly when it comes to marketing material directed at the mass market, i.e. point and shoot cameras. You'll see them saying that this camera has a 5 times zoom, this camera has a 10 times zoom, this camera has a 50 times zoom. The zoom factor is simply a number you get from dividing the longest focal length on a zoom lens by its shortest focal length. So for example, this is a 24 to 105 millimeter zoom lens. So if I divide 105 millimeters by 24 millimeters, I'll get a zoom factor of 4.375 times. Now zoom factors are less commonly used in the higher end markets. You'll still see them from time to time but not as often because to the working professionals, zoom factors don't really mean much. They're more interested in knowing the actual range of the focal lengths. So that's it for my explanation on focal length versus zoom. I hope this video has been informative. Let me know in the comment section below what else would you like me to explain. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. Subscribe if you haven't already. Until then everybody, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.